Now the way I actually like to remove material from the wheel is actually not using the uh, the cutter. Um, I don't know whether it's because the tool's blunt or, or whatever, but I just don't, it doesn't seem to cut very well, this particular material. Um, so what I actually use um, is actually just a, a, a Dremel, just a, a cheap Dremel with a grinding disc and actually effectively grinding the material off bit by bit. Um, I find it causes less stress on, on the actual wheel grinding it rather than using the cutter. Um, I've tried a couple of things with the cutter and uh, it just gets to the point where it, it grabs the material and it just it gets messy. So um, yeah, that's the method I use. It might not be a proper use of a lathe to use a, a Dremel like this, but it's I find it's very clean um, and it gives it, it gives a good finish and it's just less less stressful for the wheel so what I'll do now is spin the lathe up power up the Dremel and um, just by hand just um, offer up the, the, the cutting disc to the back of the wheel and therefore grinding it down just bit by bit just gently touching it on and bringing it back not, not holding it on for the like the whole time because the material is going to heat up then which you don't really want so it's more of a grind a little bit, ease off, a little bit more, ease off, just just uh, just by hand really, um, until that flange lip is reduced to about one point uh, point three of a mil. So I'm going to try that now. have a quick look I can see straight away that the um, the back started to change uh, the finish for where it's actually the disc is ground the back and uh, it's taken a little bit off but we need to go quite a bit more so that flange width is uh, down to 0.3 of a millimeter so it's just progressive just keep going um, take bit by bit off and you can actually use the um, the caliper to go in and measure what we are on the uh, on the flange thickness of the flange there so it's yeah it's just progressive it doesn't take too long at all um, just try not to overdo it because you don't want to uh, go too much and then lose lose the lose the flange so just go progressively bit by bit and check in is probably a lot better than uh, going in there full throttle and um, yeah buggering things up basically <laughs> so I'm going to carry on doing that okie doke that took about about two minutes um, growing off now I've only ground the metal bit and not the uh, not the, the, the very dead centre not the plastic bush um, so that's still kind of retaining its original length uh, the reason I do that it's uh, you know, once we've done, it gives the maximum amount of bite on the, on the shaft when the wheel goes back on the shaft. So, yeah, I will keep that original. Just just take the wheel off. So, yeah, I'm measuring around about um, 0.26 with the uh, measuring with the caliper. So I'm happy with that. Um, next step. Uh, now something I haven't talked about is actually the overall diameter of the flange. 
um, two millimeter fine scale standards um, indicates that the diameter of the flange should be one millimeter greater than the diameter of the tread, uh, which actually isn't the case with the the end gauge wheels. Um, it's slightly over, so what I'm going to have to do is take off uh, some of the outside diameter of the flange to reduce that ever so slightly. Yeah, doing that is pretty much the same thing really. Um, we'll spin it back up. I'll spin my Dremel grinding disc up and just touch the very outside edge of the flange very gently, bit by bit that will take off the material and just shrink the diameter down of the flange. Uh, once I'm close I'll then use the, <coughs> the sanding block just to touch the edge as it's spinning uh, just to smooth that off until I'm happy and I can keep measuring it with the, uh, with the uh, caliper um, until I'm happy. So the best thing to do is for me to measure the diameter of the actual wheel tread zero the caliper there and then my aim is to keep measuring the outside of the flange until I get to one millimeter then I know that's the that's the correct uh, diameter right I've just done that and um, it turns out all I really need to do is, is was hold the sanding block up to the edge because there was very little material to actually take off to get that to the right diameter so I didn't need to hold the Dremel disc on the end. Just uh, just use the sanding block, touch it on the end as it's spinning, and that's actually reading about 0.99 now. So what I did was measure the the uh, diameter of the tread. Actually using the other wheel because they're all the same diameter. Then zeroing that and then measuring the outside of the flange and just bringing it down until it read, uh, well, about that. So I'm happy with that. So really the next step is to actually take the wheel off, turn it around the other way and we'll start working on the uh, the uh, front outside of the wheel to actually bring the tread down to one mil. Right, I've actually turned the wheel around the other way now, so the front is facing out. Uh, but what I've had to do is because the uh, the little plastic bushing is actually sticking outwards, it's not actually flat anymore, as I said in the last step, but I've kept that to the original length. It's Because of that, it means that the wheel doesn't actually fit, uh, fit flush with the base. So what I've actually had to do is drill out a little hole in the middle to accept that little boss and it uh, allows that to sit flat so now that goes in the uh, little bush fits in the little hole and the actual back of the flange sits flush with the base which is what we want so that now spins completely true <coughs> we can now actually start work taking material off the uh, <coughs> from the front reducing the um, the width of the tread down to one mil and of course the next step after that is to actually um, just looking at the other wheel here there is actually a, a recess on the front of the wheel so once we uh, trim back we we'll actually lose, lose that detail so that wouldn't actually need to be put back in um, but that's the next step the following step <laughs>